Hey guys, and welcome on into today's video. We're going to be going through a list of parts that are going to be mandatory required for building your first PC in which items are going to be a little bit more optional. This is going to be helpful for people that are just building their first PC and want to know what components are absolutely required, and especially for those that are uh, maybe working on a more stringent budget, which things that they can cut out and maybe save for later, and they don't necessarily need to put in their system right away. So I'm at the website PCPartPicker.com. I'll link that down in the video description. This is a great resource uh, for people that are looking to build PCs. You can put in all of the specific items uh, that you're going to be putting together to see if they're compatible with each other and then also um, the cheapest price that this website can find for each of those parts. And it also gives you some building guides and completed builds if you're interested in looking into those options as well. But just heading into it here, we got a list of different parts and most of these are going to be mandatory but some of them are a little bit more optional. So just heading right into it here, the CPU and the CPU cooler both mandatory. The CPU, the brains of the operation, and the cooler um, is going to keep that CPU cooled down and prevent it from overheating. Uh, the motherboard also mandatory. Everything plugs into that to work together. The RAM and memory, that's going to be another uh, requirement. Storage also required. You can get an SSD or an HDD. An HDD is going to be um, more budget friendly, but the SSD is much snappier and quicker. So I do recommend getting that solid state drive if you can afford it. Video card, this is the first thing on the list that's optional. Um, actually, on the computer that I'm using to record this video, I do not have a GPU video card. I'm just using the integrated graphics from my CPU. So, uh, you know, if you need that for video editing or, you know, maybe you're playing video games that you want to have on higher graphics, obviously getting that GPU is going to be something that you're going to want. But if you're just looking to build a basic PC that can do mostly, uh, most things anyways, you don't need that video card, uh, especially right out of the gate if you're looking to save some money. The case, that is also going to be mandatory. You need a case to house all of your different components. Power supply, obviously that is also mandatory. You need that energy to get your PC up and running. The optical drive, that's going to be uh, up to you. It's not going to be a mandatory item. Your CD drive, uh, the PC that I'm actually using right now does have an optical drive, but it's one that I took out of my old PC. This is where, um, you know, if you have an old uh, desktop PC and you're looking to build a new one, the optical drive is something that you can salvage out of your old system and put into your new one, but it's not required. Um, the CD is you know, becoming less and less prevalent, so certainly something that you don't need to have in your computer operating system. Um, you know, I just got Windows 10 for my PC. I think I got it on eBay for like 40 bucks or something with the uh, registration code to use it, but you're going to want to utilize an operating system so that you can get the most out of your computer. So um, if you search around, especially on eBay, you can usually find a pretty good deal on an operating system in comparison to the retail prices. Uh, moving on down here, a monitor, obviously that's going to be mandatory, but that's another thing that you can potentially salvage from an old desktop. Maybe, obviously, if you had an old desktop, you're going to have a monitor. So you can carry that over to your new PC, which is what I've done with my current build. Um, external storage, you're not going to need that. It's nice to have external storage to back up files and things such as that. Um, but also another thing that I didn't bring up earlier is the storage. Um, in the computer that I'm currently using, I actually took the HDD one terabyte um, out of my old desktop and put it in this one as a backup. I also got a 500 gigabyte solid state drive, which is the main drive that I use, but you can actually take the old hard drive out of your old PC and put it into your new PC. Uh, you don't necessarily have to get a brand new one, so that's a nice option. You can also use your old one as a backup like I'm using currently with my system uh, instead of using that external storage. Um, again, that external storage is going to be very much so optional. Um, wireless network adapter, uh, you're not going to need that, especially if you're just going to plug right into that Ethernet cord without Wi-Fi, you can go that route. 
Um, but the wireless adapter card is also something that you're going to be able to salvage out of your old desktop, which is what I did with my current build. I took that wireless card out of my old PC and put it right in this one, and it works great. Uh, peripherals, keyboard and mouse, two things, and speakers, I suppose. You're not going to need headphones necessarily. Um, but keyboard and mouse and speakers are all going to be things that you can salvage from an old system that you're using. But if you want to go new, uh, you can certainly go that route as well. But that's also going to be optional for you. Um, and then just these uh, accessories and other things, uh, you're not going to need to purchase any of these things. But they can add to the experience if you're looking to get some of these different things, case fans, um, you know, fan controllers, thermal compounds, things like that. But actually, the case that I got, it came with three fans in it already. So um, you're probably not going to need case fans if you get uh, a case that already has them built in. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. But that pretty much completes this list of all the different parts that you're going to want to put into your new uh, desktop PC. This is more of an instructional video for people that are looking to build their first PC and they're just interested in knowing what items are mandatory and what ones are more optional maybe that they can hold off on or even use from an old build and put it into that new build so i hope this instructional video was helpful again the website i'm using is pcpartpicker.com which i'm going to go ahead and throw down in the video description so you can access all of this information on your own so thanks guys for stopping on in and we hope to see you in future videos bye